had a lot of people asking me about the tackle box that I use. The reason why, it's got a few little bits fitted to it, which I wouldn't say are unusual, but you don't always see them very often. Um, the breakaway backrest, which is a common one, you see that on loads of boxes. Um, for the people that don't know, it does literally drill a few holes in your box with a template and it screws to the back of your box. Can't remember the cost of these, but they're readily available on most tackle websites, eBay, places like that. Um, it's fully adjustable, you've got two little knobs, both sides, you can adjust it up and down really easily. Once you've got it set where you want it, I'd say leave it there. These straps are adjusted to myself and makes it so much easier to carry it on those long journeys. The tackle box itself is the newer design Shakespeare box. Um, I think it's classed as the team one, it is quite a decent sized box. It's got these new clips on it, as you can see. It's not like the old one in the middle. This box I've had no issues with, it seems really, really solid. It's a tough little box and there's plenty of room in this one. The next feature you're about to see is what everyone asks me about. Yeah, people say, why the hell have you got that on there? You don't need that, you're just going over the top, you my tackle tart. There is a reason behind it. When you're down the beach, you lift your lid up, your lid's sitting up there, it's windy, the box, the lid can slam down on your fingers and stuff. When it's there, the wind does not touch it, it doesn't move it. Opens the lid and it stays there, out of your way. Um, there's two rams here. This says on the side GTV 50N, which I'm guessing is 50 Newtons. You can get these rams on eBay. They're actually designed for this box by this company, Dameltech Tackle Solutions. Before I carry on talking about Dameltech, all of this I've paid for with my own money. I'm not sponsored by them, nothing like that. I just find the kit good quality. It does the job. It's cheap and it works. This has been working for a very long time. It's, I've not had any issues with it. Um, what you do, you get all the fixings you need. There's little clips there and down at the bottom inside here. Basically, you can see there's two screws there, which is for it. You're just drilling holes in your box and then you're attaching things to it. You can seal the holes with a bit of glue if you want to. You don't have to. Um, Little things like that. It's a carbon fibre baiting needle. I think that's from Trident. Tackle, possibly. Drilled, two little holes. There and there. It keeps it up, out of the way. No hassle. That's for doing my black lug. That sort of thing. Inside the box, you'll see we've got this part at the back. This is like a tray which holds your leads. And it's got two clips here. It's for shock leader. Then there's a foam insert which you can buy separately. Basically, it just makes the leads really secure in there. They are not coming out. There's a little tray down here. Hopefully you can see that okay there. There's a little tray here. You can just put all your little odd bits and ends in there. Um, it's not expensive. Um, most of this kit, like this itself, is probably 11 or 12 quid. The rams are probably 11 or 12 quid. I've got a feeling this is about 15 quid. And I think the foam was somewhere like six quid ish don't quote me on the prices what i will try and do is find links for ebay and i'll put them down in the description below if i can find them it is an affiliate link which make, means i make a tiny little bit of commission if you use that link to buy these items i just want to be honest with you all um on the side here in a little gap we've got some stainless steel scissors um i was about to say checking for rust they've rusted a tiny bit so it's probably a cheaper stainless steel um you got a little thing on the side, but they're just slot in there, out the way, taking up no room, and then they're done. So that is the tackle box, really. You can buy other bits and bobs. I do have a rig bar. I'll grab the rig bar now to show you. Right, this is the rig bar. Um, one side's detachable, so you just leave the one side on your box. I use Tronics Pro winders, the round ones, the foam ones. You just slide them on with your rigs on. It then pops into that side and goes onto that side and you've got a rig winder there full I used to have I think it was about 13 to 15 rigs and they just sit on there you pull your hook out the foam and you just wind your rig off it they stay there out of the way it's nice and tidy um, if you follow the channel regularly you'll know that I'm I won't say I've give up beach fishing or shore fishing I'm not gonna be doing it as much because of the boat fishing is just costing so much money so this box is now going to be used for my boat fishing rather than my shore fishing. So technically I'm not going to need this with the boat stuff, most of it's in wallets. But anyway, that's the tackle box. Um, I'm going to do a separate video 
don't know if you can see all this gear in the corner. This is all my boat fishing gear. These are my boat fishing leads. Um, I'm going to be doing a video showing what I take with me, my essentials, and obviously then whatever I need to fish on the day. So I'm going to be doing another video straight after this one. Um, I'm going to be getting all this stuff into the box and show you what I take. But that's the, that's the tackle box. Um, I think the box is around 50 quid online. The breakaway backrest, I honestly cannot remember the price of those. Um, we've got a little sticker on here, Dammel Tech Fish Measure. Um, obviously you've got to check your area, there might be different sizes of fish in your area. I wouldn't use the chart on here, just in case, but the measurements on this are bang on. So, up to 42 is a bass. Uh, there's not much else bigger than that that you take. Um, most things you'll take is like dabs, flounders, all of that, which this is fine for. A bass over 42, you know you can take it if you want to take it. Um, there's all sorts on here, there's pollock. You even got smooth hound on here, stuff like that. I'm not actually sure if you can take smooth hound. I suppose you can. I never would personally. But yeah, there's a mixture of fish on there. That's been on there for a good five, six years. It's got to have been. Um, yeah, it must have been by now. It's got a little few tears in it, but it's still going strong. It still does the job. Saves carrying a separate measure with you. So yeah, that's the box. Um, one of the, there's a few other things you can get from Dammel Tech different holders and you can also get reel seats things which hold your reels up the top here um, this does me fine I may try and get hold of the reel holders just to keep them up there out of the way but yeah it's a plenty plenty big enough box there's loads of room inside there we've got the blue side tray as well which you can clip on the side to keep some handy little bits in it's a comfortable seat as it is just like that it is it is a really good box you buy one of these It'll, well, it'll last you for your fishing, your fishing career basically. They are absolutely solid. The clips, the same good quality, the tough clips. You got two of them. You can leave one open if you wanted to. With the rams fitted, what you'll find is you'll try and unclip it and it won't come undone. You've got to push the lid down, the clip drops off, then it'll open. But usually I've only ever got one clip on, and normally I do that, press down there, and it pops it open. That's generally what I do. People do fit lights in there and they look like UFOs and all sorts. I've tried to make it practical for what I use it for. I don't want to. I don't want to go over the top, but yeah, this does me totally fine. So that's it. Shakespeare box and it's got all the Dammel Tech kit fitted to it. Um, like I said, I'll try and put some links below. If there's no links below, it's because I can't find the items, but I will try my best. And that's it. Kit out your tackle box how you want to kit it out. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you can, give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one.